if you're a regular visitor of our website smartfinancing.com so you'll be knowing that every week Friday evening we used to release the weekly trend report for nifty future and bank nifty future using the one standard deviation concept and this process we are giving from the past 40 weeks so all 40 weeks performance you can find out from this particular link so how week on week basis this particular trend forecast has worked and this particular method what we are giving it is from the past 40 weeks it has given excellent success in terms of its trend forecast so out of this 41 41st week 39 weeks are successful only two weeks it has given some failure so before going to this week's trend forecast which is from 4th July to 8th July so for this particular week trend forecast using the one standard deviation formula before going to that I'll just discuss few things associated with the last week's trend forecast so this is the last week's nifty future data so this is the last week it has started from 27th 27th to 30th and we have released the report on 25th of June for the week starting with from 27th June and expiry was there so 30th was the expiry so we have released this report and I'm just going through that report to show you that how successful this particular method was last week so this is the price data open high low close and the last traded price data for the week so starting from 27th so here here if you see the 27th when the nifty has opened up our uptrend we have set at 8110 downtrend we set at 8039 and that week's last traded price of nifty the reference price from where we have started the calculation was 8075 so what happened that during that week Monday 27th June when the market opened it was a gap down opening 8050 it has opened made a 8048 low in the opening hour itself and in fact it has moved to 8130 8130 high and it has settled at 8104 so this says that we have not got any entry in the downside we got an entry in the upper side direction 8110 we bought it it has gone till 8130 and settled at last traded at 8104 next day it has closed at 8135 very next day it has closed at 8203.95 that day also high it has made 8214 and on the day of settlement on the day of last Thursday settlement day it made a high 8310 settled at 8288 one very important fact I just want to focus it here so this calculation we have done on 25th and we have emailed to you all those who are registered in our website and if you look into this price factors Monday you made a high 8130 which was just two point below our 0.382 calculation point or one of our calculation point is 8132 days high made 8130 just two point lacked and you have closed at 8104 very next day it has gone to 8159.9 so one of our calculation is 8150 you moved couple of points and closed at 8135 8135 also is one of our calculation point very close to one of our calculation point very next day we have made 
ಡೋನ್ on 25th of june 2 days before the trading week starts so it is a future calculation this calculation has not done on the trading day 2 days before it is being done it is mailed to you and day on day basis it has validated these things so this is what last week's result is now we'll move into the this week's outcome this week what we are expecting from this 1sd method so this particular calculations we are doing on 1st july 1st july it is for the week starting from 4th july to 8th july 2016 using this one standard deviation formula and once again i will repeat this particular method has so far given 39 weeks of successful trend forecast so here my reference point is 8359 real time volatility 11.48% per annum 7 days 7 days for 7 calendar days i am going to calculate and this is the formula multiplied with square root of 7 divided by square root of 365 by this process i found out this 1sd price range 139 points taking the nifty price and the fibonacci ratio into confidence i have calculated this particular levels up trend levels and down trend levels and this is just a trend level i do not know which direction the trend is going to give you breakout on the monday so if it gives you the uptrend breakout which is 8390 as per my calculation and if it successfully crosses this first target 8441 because this is the fibonacci death zone 0.618 to 0.786 zone if it successfully crosses that then my next targets will be 8463 847 7 and final target i am expecting 8574 similar way if monday you are getting a downtrend breakout at 8327 so the first target will be 8277 and it will followed with other targets i have also given you one range bound trend identification zone if the price or uptrend price fail to cross this 0.5 retracement level and downtrend also fail to penetrate this 0.5 retracement level then the index is going to index future is going to consolidate in the band of 8425 to 8292 lines so once you got this trend analysis how you should trade on that so when the uptrend gives you the breakout 8390 buy it with a stop loss of 8327 however same time you hedge it with a 8350 put option this is must and once you achieve the initial target trail your stop loss and hold the trade if the stop loss hits then close the future trade in loss book the profit in the hedging put option and reverse your trade in the opposite direction so this is how we are going to trade i have given you a clear cut instruction how to trade with the hedging and how to use the trailing stop loss mechanism along with that if you get a uptrend breakout on monday buy with the put option if you achieve the first target trail your stop loss to 0.382 retracement if you achieve the second target second target which is 8463 trail your stop loss to 0.5 retracement if you achieve the third target 
trail your stop loss to the 0.5 retracement or 0.618 retracement because third, third target is 0.786. So like this way you continue till the final target is not achieved or the trailing stop loss is not triggered. If your trailing stop loss is getting triggered then come out of the trade along with the option and if the trend changes, trend changes after you initiate the trade in the uptrend then you have to book the losses and come out and reverse your trade in the opposite direction. This is what you are going to do the trade as per the one standard deviation. Similar way I have done the analysis for the bank nifty and it is saying that 406 points of expectation and bank nifty last trade reference is 18,035 and I'm just telling you to buy at 0.382 level because bank nifty having a very high base value 18,000 henceforth with some 30-40 point of difference it may trigger the stop loss for that I am telling you to buy at 0.382 retracement and same time I am also advising you to hedge it with the weekly options. So this is how you should trade in the one standard deviation weekly levels or weekly trend levels you should utilize in this particular way to do the trade. Once the uptrend breakout are given buy it with a put option if the downtrend breakout given sell it with a put option this is the final rule for that and we have given the complete analysis of week on week basis what happened in the week of 27th to 30th what happened on the 20th to 24th week what happened to 13th to 17th June that particular week so every week 40 weeks proof is being given here clearly to show you that the, so this method works in the real market. So this is how the coming weeks level is being calculated and this is how you should trade using the one standard deviation weekly trend levels along with the option heads. And this is not the only final way of option trading. You can opt any kind of option trading method along with this particular trend level. You can opt many different type of option strategy along with this trend levels. So and this paid software we have also a paid software associated with this same concept you can utilize for intraday trade in commodity, intraday trade in equity and future also in the options. So the paid software has that intraday feature it has the feature to give you the weekly level for all futures, commodities and equities and if you wish to win, own that particular tool then you can just click on this link to buy or call to our sales number in this particular report where, what it is given here. So this is how you should trade in the 1SD levels 